we are officially on Mars. That's actually probably more convincing. Yeah, there's no flies out here. <laughs> and we're driving down the giant dike that extends from Shiprock. Now, would you describe what you did to me earlier, how you think this could have been formed with the Electric Universe Theory? Whoa. They said this is two-wheel drive friendly. If it rains, I think you'd be screwed on this road. What happened? Something fell. My banana. Well, if the pointy thing in front of us, which is Shiprock, mm -hmm. was the central core of a lightning strike, you're gonna get fingers that come off of that arc blast. Yeah. And those well, fingers are dendritic, typically. But if it was underground and electrified, you might get a sheeted, uh, a, you might melt some material like this. Now the traditional idea of that is exactly what's happening in Iceland right now. There's a thin sheet of lava moving, uh, of magma moving up in the earth, about to come up on the surface. Mm -hmm. And you can see how thin it is. That's only what, it's like 10, 20 feet thick? No, not that much. Yeah, so, and, and so that's the idea of that. Sheeted magma dike. Now, how far are we from Shiprock right here? About two miles, three miles? No, about that one. Ten miles from here. Oh, wow. That's going to get huge. Yeah. That's going to get huge. Oh, from here to Shiprock? Yeah. No, it's, it's that. Oh, let me get. So let's hit another joint. He's getting Zorg. I actually have a gimbal for this opportunity. Hold on, hold on. My name is Zorg. We come in Jeep, we come in Jeep, Akakak, we come in Jeep, you live in pieces, Alright, let's go, baby. That's pretty cool. It's like the McDonald's arches at the top of Ship Rock. Is that where McDonald's came up with the idea? Look at that, I think it is. They came up with the Big Mac when they hiked it. Oh no, my video's out. Oh, I don't have enough space. I gotta delete space on my phone. Oh my god. Unbelievable. That's how busy we are. That's how hard we work. Dude, this is, this is tough. I know, man. I'm, holding, I'm barely <laughs> holding on. I'm barely holding on. I'm exhausted. I don't know if we can make it to Shiprock. Oh, well. You have to stay tuned. Desolate here.
Oh. Come on, you can make it to the top. <laughs> Who's that? So, that is what's interesting right there. What's that? Well, we came from as far as you can see. ever uh, and that's why people get pretty nice here really interesting geology over here thermal weathering of the white material all around the edges as if it was in a giant magma chamber and altering there's some lateral dikes up on the side you can see white stripes there so that's also showing this is not that homogeneous where there was a some secondary event after the lava cooled in the neck. But Shiprock is just fantastic and in the middle of the nowhere. Climbing is close here in the 70s. I think the last legal climb was in 1970, 73. People climb it all the time. He's going to tell you not to when there's no one here. So geologically speaking, most magmas don't have clasts in it, so that's a little suspect. It could. You could be taking some material from the side. We have pyroclastic clouds and explosions. And it seems to be that there's some huge clasts in this section here. missing one right there a big void classed or is that actually a boulder my eyes are playing tricks on me so definitely a volcanic area and or a molten area caused by electricity a giant fulgurite and this piece looks fulguritic but it, fulgurites don't explain the breccia or the pyroclastic breccia so just a very complex area and then there's the sheeted dike that keeps going and going and going for miles and miles and miles. And it's cold out here, kids. Bundle up! We got some big anthromorphs way off the deck and another one of these panels in this slot here. More language. Might be a description of what's going on with each of these glyph panels. Like a guide. Oh, there we go. Now I can see him. Well, it was an epic day, we lost the drone, 
on the top of Ship Rock. And it was windy. It still is windy. But it's fantastic. Sleeping you in the distance. Fantastic day. Subscribe to the channel. Get out there.